Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a common mistake that a lot of pool owners make. And it's this right here. They use Dichlor for weekly chlorination and shock. Um, this is really, really bad, and here's why. Um, there's three kinds of chlorine that you need to concern yourself with. One is Dichlor. Um, and liquid chlorine and granular chlorine. Now, dichlor is a very special kind of chlorine, unlike the other two. Liquid is sodium hypochlorite, and granular is calcium hypochlorite. Dichlor is a stabilized form of chlorine, which means that it has a chlorine and cyanuric acid in there. And when you weekly um, dose your pool with dichlor, um, weekly chlorination, and heaven forbid if you're shocking your pool with dichlor, it's going to raise the cyanuric acid very, very quickly. Now, the cyanuric acid level is supposed to be between 30 to 50 parts per million, and your chlorine level should be 2 to 4 parts per million. Now, when you use dichlor on a regular basis, especially if you're shocking your pool with dichlor, uh, for every 10 parts per million, you add chlorine using dichlor, you increase your cyanuric acid by 9 parts per million. So you can see that your stabilizer is going to get out of hand very, very quickly. Now, what I recommend you do is you only want to use liquid chlorine. I'm not a big fan of granular chlorine for a couple of reasons. Number one is you're adding hardness to the water. As the name implies, you're, it's calcium hypochlorite, so you're adding calcium and hardness to uh, your water. Now, if you live in a place um, like when I had my pool out in Arizona, uh, the, the fill water was very hard. It was around 250 to 300 parts per million, so no one would ever want to use calcium hypochlorite. Um, also, calcium hypochlorite does have a pH of 12, so you're trying to keep your pH, pH between 7.4 to 7.8. If you're constantly using granular chlorine, you're jamming that chlorine up, which means that you're going to you're going to be using a lot of acid to bring that pH down. So those are a couple reasons why you only want to use liquid chlorine. And again, never use granular chlorine for your weekly maintenance and for shocking for the reasons that were just mentioned. So check out the description box below. A link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So like, subscribe, and comment here. And uh, I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. Be safe. And happy swimming. Bye.